Today we're going to talk about the 555 timer. And the name timer is a little misleading for this device because it has a lot more applications than just timing. It's composed of two primary building blocks, comparators and flip-flops. And we're going to look at each one of these devices independently and there'll be more on these in other videos. So a comparator is really a device that just compares two input voltages and provides a high or low output depending on the results of that comparison. Comparators are analog devices with digital outputs and so you can sense whether one input is greater than another or sense if one input is less than another using a comparator. Here's a simple comparator circuit. If input voltage it, minus the reference voltage is positive, then the output's high, otherwise it's low. And if we look at the other case, if the reference voltage minus the input voltage is positive, then the output's high, otherwise it's low. And we have uh, some specific numbers in there and show you what the results should be. A flip-flop is basically just a device that remembers things. And so we have a set reset flip-flop here and we're showing the output of that based on a particular input. Based on a particular input. Here we have a positive going waveform on the set which causes a positive going waveform on the Q output. A low to high transition. Not Q will be just the opposite. Now on the bottom there we have a positive going pulse on the reset and this will cause Q to go back down low and not Q will be just the opposite of whatever Q is. Now here we have an animation. If you look at the trigger then when the trigger pin is below 3 volts we set the flip-flop which causes Q to go high which causes the output to go high and the discharge switch to go off. And in the next case, if the threshold pin is above 6 volts, then we reset the flip-flop, which turns the discharge switch on and the output off. We also have a circuit here that shows you what's going on. Here we have an input that's less than 3 volts applied to both inputs, the trigger and the comparator. So it's causing the set on the flip-flop to go, the Q output to go high, and the output load goes high and the discharge switches off. In phase two, the capacitor is charging and nothing happens while it's charging. But once the input gets above six volts in this case, then the discharge switch discharges the capacitor through the 100K resistor and turns the load off. And then the thing enters, everything enters phase four where the capacitor voltage is decreasing and once it gets below one-third of V plus again, then the whole process starts all over again. Okay, here we see the pins sorted by input and output. The trigger, the threshold, the control, and reset are all inputs. The control and reset are sort of special purpose pins that aren't always used for a lot of the timing applications. If you look at uh, the other side, we have the outputs, and that includes pin 3, which typically is the pin that provides power to your load, or an output to your load. And we have the discharge, which is really just a switch, a transistor switch in the IC. And of course, all ICs require a source of power, and so we have V plus and ground hooked to pin 8 and pin 1. And remember, this is for the 8-pin dip only. Usually a 9 volt battery works well to power this device. Here's the actual package that it comes in. This is what we call an 8 pin dip and the half circle on the chip marks the pin 1 and 8 side. The dot represents pin 1 if you have it. The part number is in this case is a TS555 which is a low power version and there are other low power versions too. And these are the pinouts on the actual device. Now when we look at packages, the dual and line package is a very popular package for hobbyists. And basically the smallest one, for the most part, is the 8-pin dip. 
but there are 14 pins, 16 pin, 20 pin, and 40 pins, and even others I haven't mentioned here for this package style. And once again, there's the um, numbering on this particular package style on the right. Package styles have nothing to do with what's inside the chip. You can have timer chips, digital chips, all kinds of chips in the same package style. This 8-pin dip is really popular.